Hi, Sandy here. Um, today I'm going to make some dogs and cats, well just dogs for today, um, pet borders and tags. Um, this is my book that's all dog and cat stuff. Um, just all, all my stuff for dogs and cats. For my dog and cat scrapbook pages. Um, these are some tags that I have made for cats. Um, and I put them in this book in page protectors. I just use a speck of glue to put them on the page and then I can peel them off when I'm ready. Um, so, and then um, here's some cat borders that I've done. There's three here and same thing. I just use a speck of glue and put them in there. Here's a couple more cat borders. Um, pretty low on dog borders. Here's some dog tags. Uh, yeah, I need some dog and cat <laughs> borders and tags. Um, and what I do with them, this is my current pets. I also have a book for my cat. I got a lot of pictures of him. Um, here's one of my borders. Um, this is my style. <laughs> I just put pictures on a page and put on a border. And it's quick and easy. Uh, and I like to use, I hope there's not a glare, but I like to use a lot of of um, stuff. Just using up my stuff. <laughs> I put a lot of things on my tags. And you can see the background paper. It's got like dog words on the back. But I've pretty much covered it up. Um, but that's just <laughs> my theme. Um, let's see what else I can show you. Here's another. Um, just fill in a lot of things. And this has a bunny on it, but it's cute. And the dogs are cute, so it doesn't have to be a dog theme. And I make these borders for Christmas, for holidays, my dogs, my cats, um, uh, everyday ones. I make them kind of generic so that um, they're not for a specific event that I'm scrapbooking but kind of generic that they'll fit everything. Here's an, a, a border that I made. I'm trying to find a tag. Um, let's see. Okay, here's a tag. I made this one just for Charlie. Uh, this I made quite a while ago. It says Mama's Boy on there, but the ribbon cut it. Um, I don't use a lot of... You can put some ribbon in through your hole on your tags, and this is why I don't do that very often, because it <laughs> kind of covers it up. But I, I even saved one of his old... This is his vaccination tag. And glued that on there. Um, and most of the time I'll get like three photos on a page if I don't have a border, you know, and then I'll fill it in this blank space with a with a tag. Um, let's see if I can find any more tags. This is an embellishment that I made. I just put in a little scrap of paper. I, I don't do a lot of embellishments. Here's a tag. See, there, here's a kind of basic tag. I just use up stuff and make my tags. Well, I've talked long enough about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to start. I had all this, this scrapbook scraps from trimming down my 12 by 12 paper to um, 8.5 by 11. Um, so I, I like them to be, um, what is this, like 2 and 3 quarters wide, my borders. So I went through and I trimmed down the scraps and I added a strip to them. Just, you know, and this is my base and then I will decorate it. And so I'm going to glue a few of these together. I'm not going to do them all, but I'm going to, on camera anyway. I need my, I need my gluing mat and some glue so 
think that one's empty. Okay. And sometimes I'll get just a, a plain piece of white border and I will glue some strips on, on it just to use up the scraps, you know. And that, that'll be my base. So. There's a border base ready to go. And once I get this covered up with a lot of stuff, it'll barely show. So here I have um, some bones. I love you. And this is a scrap of paper with some dogs on it. And some of these, a lot of these are, are eight and a half, or eight inches, eight and a half inches. And, but some of them aren't. I left them at 12 inches and they need to be trimmed down. This one is, is good. And I don't worry a lot about them coordinating or matching. Uh, Almost got that upside down. <laughs> That's a little bit crooked. I like to, you know, do your own thing. If if you like them more simple, that's great. I like mine very cluttered, sort of. I'm going to show you this one because. Here's some doghouse paper. This is some uh, scrap of bones. I think I'll move that right up to the edge. Now this is one that was... I didn't trim it down. So I'll trim it down now that it's glued on for a perfect fit. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of these borders off camera. Get those cut up. Um, but then, I've got all of these strips of paper that go this way instead of for a border, you know. Um, I don't do a lot of eight and a half borders, uh, and I should. Um, I'm used to the 11 inch borders, but I got all these little strips like this. I'm not going to use that ribbon, I don't think. I might, um, but this is my tags, um, and this is what I call tag bases that I have made from... Um, cereal boxes and, and scraps of paper and stuff card stock and sometimes I'll go through and I'll cover them with with scraps and um, a lot of times let's see let's go through yeah this sometimes I'll glue some strips on there this is Kleenex box yeah this is what I'm gonna do today I just glued a bunch of strips on there you know using up my scrapbook scraps um, there's another one and, and I, I'll do that sometimes I'll have a solid color this is Kleenex box um, this I kind of decorated with some glitter glue um, so that's what I'm going to do with those strips. I'm going to cover some blank tags. Um, I saw a yellow one. That's a good example. Like this. So I'm going to cover a few tags. And... You probably heard the TV. My husband's got the TV going. Kind of loud. 
so these are just this I think this is from a calendar back of the calendar where you can write notes in American greetings um, cereal boxes just just scraps so what I'm gonna do here is and to make the dog um, the tags and borders you can use other prints and, and other stuff but I just have all this stuff that I want to use up and and um, I haven't even hardly gone through this here's some dogs here's some dog words rough bark and this was actually a branding strip from a, a sheet of scrapbook paper and I don't really worry a lot about coordinating colors and stuff. Um, so I'm going to just cover this with strips. Get it pressed down really good. And then trim around it. And there's a very, very doggy tag base. Um, also, this is just one of these that I grabbed and wrote tag pattern on. And um, I've got this piece of paper I want to use. I might be able to get two out of this. So, I'm going to go on the back here. Let's see. I'll get a pencil to mark this. And that's tiny, just a tiny bit off, but it is close enough. So, I'll trim this. Then I'll take my my tag pattern and just snip it. There's a tag. And let's see. I'm going to kind of just center this on here close enough. I am not fussy. Not a bit. It's far from perfect, but it looks just fine. Okay, now I've got those two. And then, that is no good. I'm going to get rid of it. Fold this. Uh, I might use this for something if it had more of a pattern on it. You know, I, I like to save every little bit of scraps. Um, so, let's see what we got here. Now, I'm going to take this and put it on here. And, oh, uh, let's see. that and then this one I will put so this on I wonder if it would look better like this no I like to have a little brightness on each one so um, 
going to glue the back of this. Put it here. And you could you could leave a, a gap here if you wanted to. But I, I think I won't on this one. There's, you know, do, do whatever you want. And this is actually on the reverse side of that. Uh, and this, this was the branding strip. So there is a tag base. Hope I'm not off the camera over there. Let's see, this scrap will work. So there's that one. I'm going to cover another one of these with strips and then I will finish the finish them on off camera and I, I then I'll be back. See this was um oh my. <laughs> my This is one of my old Holly Hobby calendars with things written on it. I use these different widths. Um, they don't have to match up or anything. Just using up my scraps, making them useful. And I think this is going on a little bit crooked, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, let's so now get this pressed down really good. Yeah, this was a little crooked, this first piece. But I am not fussy. There we go. There's another dog tag. And, okay. I've got these two larger scraps. So I'm going to make a couple of... Got to trim it there.
in there. Okay, and I know I want this three inches, so I'll put that on the three, snip that. There's my tag base. So I'll snip off these corners. Okay, so I'm going to work on these some more and get use up a lot of these scraps and then I will get back to you and we'll continue. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I think I made like 17 tags and like 22 borders. I'm going to flip through these real fast and show them to you. And they're kind of all the same. these last two I was getting down to some kind of short scra scraps so I made a little border on the side and filled it up with the smaller pieces so I made those and then these border bases really have much to say just here they are <laughs> on this one I put the strip on this side because it says sit stay roll over didn't want to cover that too much although I probably will these are already not this one this one this one and another one I had made previously and I had it in my book ready to go but it needs some more stuff on it. This just ain't doing it for me. So I'll probably be decorating that one. I'm going to call that one a base. There was another one too. But anyway. So I've got those made. This is all the scraps I have left. Now that's pretty good. And I have this pan. Um, it's... I just got a lot of stuff from um, Scrapbooking for Less. And um, I like these stickers. I cut them up like this so that I can sort them and and into dogs and cats and wherever I want to put them. Um, there was some like 12 by 12 sheets of this kind of stuff that I've cut apart. And um, then I found more, more scraps. There was a border strip. Um, that I cut apart and so I found more so I'll be using those and oh here we go yeah these are the border strips but this is not my style to be digging I like to flip through the pages and be able to see everything so I've got to get this sorted before I go much further but in the meantime, um, I did this and this. I'm going to glue these together for you. 
and then that'll be the end of this video and then I'm going to make a second video I'm going to get a whole bunch of these ready and glue them in, in the next video but I just wanted to show you now what I do with these and I just gathered up a few things this is from one of those cut apart pages from scrapbooking for less so there's my base tag I'm about at the end of this glue stick here and, and uh, see a lot of this just gets covered up oh I forgot something this is my little quirk <laughs> I like to I use scraps man I use them um, I like to have a little scrap hanging off the edge three little scraps that's my that's kind of my trademark and these are scraps from the dog paper but I don't have very many of those on the others I'll be using my colored scraps from and that's it where'd it go <laughs> I lost there it is that's the end of that glue stick I gotta start a new one okay So there's that and I do glue the whole thing and then the glue just dries and it's not sticking to anything so there's my little hangy thing so then I can stick this down um, this is a big th sticker it's it's kind of thick I'm gonna put that um, I don't know I don't want to cover up my words but I'm going to cover up these dogs on the, the hangy things I think they're a good little base to add something you know then I've got a little heart it was not in my dog things you can mix and match stuff after I get that that uh, tray of stuff sorted I'll probably be able to um, find things better so I'll put that there then I've got this this sticker just a red little dot put that there and the final thing I always do with my tags is oh this is coming loose well okay as I punch them oh and that's some thick cardstock I'm not sure I think it came from the back of a scrapbooking pad or something so there's one done and now I've got this so I gotta remember to start with my little little I call them hangy do's <laughs> my little corners and squares that hang off the side that's that's dog bones although it's hard to see it's going to get partly covered up anyway probably I just stick them on there at odd angles to make it look kind of interesting okay oh, house is not a home without a dog and I used my corner trimmer and I rounded the corners I did on the other one too I do that quite a bit that's one of my favorite tools And I like to put things on at an angle, just my little quirk that I have. And then this is, um, it says dog house. That came with some dog supplies. Put that up there. Then I've got this little dog. chair is creaking put him here and I like things hanging off the side and there I've covered up one of my little squares but that's perfectly fine this is a little sticker that says my furry friend um, don't know where I want to put it I'll put it here well put it there 
There's a little dog peeking out right there. I'm probably going to cover him up. Okay, I'm going to need some glue dots. This is from when my daughter was young. We had a lot of these styrofoam stickers for her to play with. And um, I've been trying for a few years to use them up. And I'm, I'm making a little progress. <laughs> I'm going to put that right there. Here's a little flower. And everything, you know, everything that go, goes on there doesn't have to, you know, fit in with the dog thing. You can mix and match stuff. Here's a here's a button. I got two buttons picked out to put on here. I didn't get my dot off. And and I do have different sizes of glue dots, and I should have picked a smaller size for this button, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll put a button there. And a button you here. Then I've got this little tiny paw print. I'll glue that on right there. And there is another one done. So I promise, I sincerely promise, there will be another video soon. I'm going to make some more dog tags and borders. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.